It's Wednesday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Tomorrow is the opening day of the State 4A Track Championships at Jeffco Stadium, where Summit High is sending nine athletes. The defending state cross-country champ, sophomore Ella Hagen, is competing in the 1,600 and 3,200-meter runs. Regular top three finisher and senior Dom Ramikas runs the 800, 1,600, and 3,200. He's joined by sophomore Josh Shriver in the 3,200. Two freshmen are making their state debut, Faith Fox for the hurdles, Laura McCullough for 800 and 1,600 meter runs. Joining those five individuals for relays are Tegan Barth, Avery Itell, Will Bentley, and Carter Nienkiewicz. State continues through Saturday. Best of luck to the Tigers. State Senator Dylan Roberts of Eagle County is shaming Governor Jared Polis this morning for vetoing a bill that might have delayed wolf reintroduction. The bill would have made wolves an experimental species, not an endangered one. This would have protected ranchers who kill wolves to defend their livestock. It had the support of lawmakers and Colorado Parks and Wildlife. The first reintroduced wolves are coming to Colorado by December. Summit County's own John Fielder, the photographer known for his stunning landscape images, is battling pancreatic cancer. Fielder tells the Denver Post, Here I am at 72, and cancer is trying to take my life. Fielder recently donated more than 7,000 of his favorite photos, his life's work, to History Colorado. Dylan Amphitheater released its full summer schedule yesterday, more than 35 free and paid shows, June 15th to September 14th. Nine of those shows are already sold out, including two nights of Rainbow Kitten Surprise and three nights of Pretty Lights. Dylan is moving a whole lot of earth right now, just behind the amphitheater. They are making more room for loading, unloading, and tour buses. It's to give artists a better experience. Work there should be finished in less than a month in time for that first show. Colorado is making bank off a limited run of South Park license plates. Opening bid for the Butters plate is more than $1,700. A Towley plate is going for $1,600. And it's all a marketing push to promote the grand reopening of Casa Bonita on Colfax, The South Park creators now own that restaurant. Grand reopening is sometime this month. No date confirmed yet. In sports, the Nuggets beat the Lakers last night, 132-126, winning Game 1 of the Western Finals. The Rockies lost to the Reds 3-1. Today, in about an hour, the Rockies are wrapping up their home series with the Reds. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. At 5.30 today on the Dirt Trails in Dillon is opening race of the Summit Trail Running Series. You can register on site starting at 4 in the parking lot at the Dillon Disc Golf Course. Tigers baseball lost to Glenwood Springs yesterday 9-6. That snaps Summit's 10-game win streak on the final game of the regular season. State 4A baseball tournament starts in coming weeks. The Tigers are ranked 14th. That should be enough to get them in. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.